Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video. Well, no, it's not a knife video for you. I'm just looking at a knife, so I said it. Actually, this is going to be a pen video, but I wanted to bring this knife in uh, sort of in preparation for this video. So we have here a Wii knife. This is a 037. Really, really nice knife. Some really cool stuff that they've got going on here. And we have looked at tons and tons of Wii knives on this channel, and I'm continually impressed. Now, I don't love every model. In fact, I think they sometimes rush to market a little too quickly and end up putting out stuff that really could have been thought through better. However, when they do something right, they do it so right that it's incredible. And this is one of those incredible knives from Wii. But that machining prowess... Uh, can be directed in other places and one of the ways they have done that is with some pens sort of some EDC tactical style pens this is the Wii T02 I think there's a T03 uh, 4 and 5 or there might be a 3 and a 5 anyway I'm not sure but they do have a couple of models out of EDC style or tactical style pens and there is a little bit of a story behind this. While I'm telling you the story, let me show you the box that this comes in because it's really, really impressive. There you go. Look at this box. It's sealed shut. <laughs> the pen comes in here. It's in a little plastic case. You get a nice little card there. Very, very impressive packaging on this guy. Um, the story behind this, this pen is I was talking to Justin over at White Mountain Knives and I was talking to him about tactical pens and how I didn't really, I'd kind of moved away from tactical pens because I just can't ever find one that I really enjoy. And for me, that means a couple of things, okay? I'm, I don't, I'm not interested in just carrying it as a, as a Cubaton or as a force multiplier. For me, if I'm going to carry a pen, I have to be able to write with it. And I do a lot of writing. I, I go to a lot of conferences and take a lot of classes. And so I need to be able to take notes. I need to be able to take notes comfortably and quickly. And most tactical pens, are, they suck for writing. And I know this is probably going to be a contrary opinion, but I do not like the Fisher Space Pen. Um, I don't find myself needing to write in the rain or upside down or wherever else very often. Um, but I do find myself wanting a nice, comfortable, precise line. And when I'm writing with one of those Fisher Sprays pens, I feel like I'm writing with a crayon. Okay, so <laughs> I was talking to Justin about all of that. And I said, you know, I just don't want any tactical pen that takes a, a space pen refill. He suggested the Wii T02 and that he had one he could... Uh, you know, that he had some in stock and I could get from him. And so he sent this over. I pulled it out and I have done a first impressions on this. And I've got to say, guys, in that first impressions, I talked about how addictive this is. And look, this knife pen has single handedly. I don't know why I want to keep saying that. It's because I'm so used to making knife videos. But I had all but given up on sort of tactical style pens. I was just like, whatever, I'm done with this. Uh, they're, they're not comfortable to carry. They don't write well. Forget it. Um, this pen has actually changed my mind. I've carried this a lot. I've used it quite a lot. Now, I have, and I'll talk about this uh, in a little bit, I have changed out the original refill that it came with. And I like this one a little bit better, but there are tons and tons of others that I haven't tried yet. And I, I may try and, and actually may end up making more videos about this as I try different refills for it. Uh, so uh, we've got this really impressive case that we've already talked about. We've got a pen here that is smaller and lighter than what we're used to seeing. It's only um, five inches long, seven sixteenths thick, and it weighs in at 1.32 ounces, which is fairly light. Lots of tactical pens that I've had are like two ounces. Some of them I've seen go up to three ounces. That is not practical if you're going to be writing for any length of time, okay? And so that's just off-putting to me. Now, this one with its smaller size and lighter weight and a finer tip, I have really, really liked. So I've got to say, hold on, let's see if I've got some blank paper here that I can write on a little bit for you. Uh, so I have to say I do really like using this pen. And that's not very common. I, I often don't enjoy it. Uh, tactical pens all that much and because of that for a long long time I have used the Zebra F701 and I really really like the Zebra F701 but I, I wanted something a little bit nicer one of my complaints about this is the refills that they use uh, at least from my mileage 
tend to start to suck after they, when they're full of ink at the beginning, they write really well or fairly well. But as they start to empty, they start to suck more and more. And so uh, I was looking for something in alternative, as an alternative to that. Uh, what I have ultimately done uh, is switch to this and uh, switch the refill as well. Now I've got another pen to bring in here as well that I've been using and carrying quite a bit lately. And I like it a lot too. Um, it just isn't as appealing in certain ways. So the one thing I want to talk about before we get to any comparisons is just the overall quality in the machining on this. So we've got quite a bit of work done here. Really, really nice. And I've got to say the way that they have done the bolt is phenomenal. It's really, really gentle. It's really, really fast. It's really simple. Uh, I've handed this to lots of people and they can pretty much right away figure out how this thing is supposed to function. And usually they're like, wow, that is so cool. Uh, especially, you know, when they find out it's titanium and, you know, this is definitely a pen to geek out over a little bit. All right, although they're not wildly expensive. That's the other thing I like about this. From we, you know, there are lots of titanium pens out there and I'm sure there's others that I would like, but one of the things I have often found to be the case is that they're inordinately expensive, okay? So <laughs> to get something that's really, really good quality, um, for, I think these are around 60, $58 or $68, uh, is really, really good. And, uh, that I've got to give we a lot of credit for coming in at a really nice price point. And I, overall, I like the design as well. And I definitely like the feel. Now that's the one thing we haven't talked about yet is writing with this. I gave you my little demonstration there. Um, I have switched. So let me show you pretty straightforward stuff here. There's the spring. This is the Parker Jotter um, fine tipped refill. And it, it's they, they all fall under the category of a G2 refill, not the G2 as in the G2 Pilot uh, option. The Pilot has a, a pretty cheap gel pen called the G2. Um, but the G2 refills are uh, basically refills that are that fit the pilot that fit the um, regular jotter and because that jotter is so popular there are tons and tons and tons of refills like if you look up a list of g2 refill options you'll find that there are i don't know 40 or 50 or who knows what uh, i went with the the jotter fine point just because they seem to be pretty well liked and pretty popular um I, I may try a gel refill as well in this. If you've got recommendations, by the way, for a gel refill that's really fine, okay, uh, go ahead and let me know. I definitely like a finer point, just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. And I like something that is really precise. A lot of gel pens I find end up looking messy because too much ink comes out when, when you're using them. All right, so we've covered size and weight. We've covered, you know, the feel of writing. We've covered just about everything I want to say. Oh, the design, the function, all that stuff. Uh, the one thing I will say is this clip is pretty stiff, so you're not going to lose it, which is a benefit, but you'll probably need two hands to put it in a pants pocket. In a shirt pocket, right, when it's just shirt material, which is much thinner, then it goes in pretty easily. Let's see if I can kind of demonstrate this for you. Uh, I think you'll get what I mean. Over this paper, I can push it down pretty easily because it's so thin. But even if with this paper, like I'm having to put a fair bit of force behind it to pull that paper out of there. So that should show you. It's a pretty stiff clip, which means if you're going to try to put this in a, in a pair of jeans pocket, let's say, uh, it's going to be a little bit tough getting in and out. You'll probably need two hands. Okay, now that we've gotten through all that stuff, let me very quickly offer you some comparisons. We've already had the Zebra F701 in here. Uh, here's just a regular, I don't know what this is, uh, Uniball Sino. I, I think like, I think you just get these at Walmart or something. Okay. So those are a couple of comparisons. You can see, you know, this is a little bigger. It's got a gel refill. Now this only weighs, and the average weight of a, of a typical pen that you're going to buy at Walmart is like less than half an ounce, okay? So uh, I will say at 1.2 ounces or 1.3 ounces, whatever I said a minute ago, uh, let's see, 1.3 ounces, it's, it's heavier than your average pen, but it's not so heavy that it's unusable. Now the one pen that we've talked about before, okay, is this guy right here. This is the 
Zebra X701. So it's supposed to be sort of the, the heavy duty version of this guy. Um, I do enjoy writing with this just a little bit more than this. It's not that I dislike this and it's not that I carry this one exclusively or anything like that, but I end up carrying this guy quite often. And if I have a lot of writing to do, I'm probably going to lean toward this pen over this one, even though I have used this for, you know, I think it's suitable for more writing than your average tactical pen. Okay, so overall thoughts, I think this is a great tactical pen. It's one of the few that I can say I like a lot. I like the way it writes. I like the way it carries. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels in hand. There are very, very few sort of, you know, complaints that I can offer you about this pen. I actually like almost everything about it. And that may actually improve even more if I were to find, you know, just the most perfect refill. Frankly, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not that interested in buying every refill in existence and trying it out. But if I, if one comes out that really, really looks appealing to me, I'll probably try one or two more and, and possibly update you. I won't do a full video. I'll just share it on Instagram or something like that. But I will say I, I like this pen quite a lot. I can easily recommend it. And I want to thank Justin over at White Mountain Knives for recommending it and sending it out to me. And I would definitely suggest if you want one of these, you head over there. Now there's also, by the way, one last thing before I finish, there is a Civivi version of this pen done in aluminum that comes in at a little lower price point. Um, I can't tell you that it's just as good. I can't, you know, I haven't tried it. Uh, if I get an opportunity, I will get my hands on that Civivi pen and review one as well for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank, go over to White Mountain Knives. Use my discount code SHARPSTUFF. Save yourself 10% on this or anything else. We'll talk to you soon.